Moon Elizabeth and I'm a health coach and fitness trainer and I'm coming to you today with a video on four steps that you need to take if you've made the decision to live a healthier life. These are four steps that can really help you on your journey to that healthier lifestyle. So this video is actually inspired by my sister who asked me this question this morning and I said, you know what? I could probably help some other people too. So I decided to go ahead and film the video. So hopefully it does help you. So let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna read her question and then I'm gonna get into those four steps. So her question is, so let's say you've decided this is it. I'm going to take my health seriously. What are some first steps to take and what are some things to avoid? So that's the question. That's the question on the table. And so with this question, I'm going to answer it with my four steps. And step number one is to set a goal. You have to know what you're trying to accomplish. So you're gonna set the goal or the objective and you want to be specific. What I mean by being specific is you want to narrow that down. So if you said, like I said to my sister, okay, you wanna live healthier, what does that actually mean to you? And so she let me know what that meant to her and then we took it from there. So that is what you'll need to do. You need to set that goal. Do I wanna drink more water? Do I want to exercise more? Do I want to make healthier eating choices? So you want to nail that down. You want to be very specific in what you're trying to accomplish. What does healthy or healthier or healthy lifestyle, what does that actually mean to you specifically? The number two is you want to make a plan. So let's just say, for example, you say, okay, I want to exercise more. I don't really exercise regularly and that's what I want to do. Okay, great. So you make the plan. That's your goal. You make the plan. The plan number two is I'm going to work out two to three days a week, or I'm going to work out three to four days a week. Then you're going to decide what days you're going to do that, that workout. Are you going to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Are you going to work out Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday? Are you going to work out Tuesday, Thursday? And decide what, when it is that you're going to work out. Then also decide when you're going to do it. Are you going to do it in the morning before work? Are you going to do it in the evening? After work, how long are you going to spend exercising? Is it going to be 30 minutes? Is it going to be 20 minutes? Is it going to be 10 minutes? Is it going to be an hour? Are you going to go to the gym? Are you going to take a class when you go to the gym? Are you going to work on the elliptical? Are you going to take a strength class, a cardio class, a yoga class? Are you going to work out at home? How are you going to do that? And it's told you can totally do that. You can actually use YouTube. Come right back here to YouTube and work out and train with some of the YouTube videos. And I'm going to be filming some videos that you can train along with me if you'd like as well. So making your plan. Let's say, for instance, I'm going to you say for your goal number one that you want to drink more water. It's a great goal, by the way. And you may say, I'm going to drink. My body, because, you know, health authorities say that drinking half your body weight in ounces of water a day is pretty acceptable for it's a good goal to set for drinking water and to staying hydrated. So you let's say you're 150 pounds. Half of that 75 pounds, you flip that to ounces, that's 75 ounces of water that you drink in a day. And then you do that. Right. So step one, set a goal. Step two, make a plan. Step three, work, work the plan. It's work the plan. So whatever you set out to do, whether it's eating better, drinking better, exercise, whatever, it, or even sleep. Your goal may be I'm going to get eight, eight hours of sleep a night. If that's the case, and sleep is very important to our health and well-being, then you set that goal and then you make a plan. How are you going to do that? Are you going to end your day here th at this time to make that happen? And then you're going to number three, work that plan. Whatever plan of action you've set, you're going to work the plan. And that brings me to point number four or step number four. Step number four is to be patient with yourself. As you're moving through your plan, there may be a time or a day where maybe you set your alarm and you didn't hear it. 
then you're going to be patient with yourself in knowing that, okay, I missed it today, but there is the next time. You can, re you can actually make up for that time you missed or just get back on it the next time. But the major thing is to be patient with yourself, knowing that it takes time consist and consistency to, to live a healthy lifestyle and you can do that. So be patient with yourself. Few things to avoid. Number one, avoid setting unrealistic expectations. What do I mean by that? Let's just say you want to lose weight and you set a goal that you want to lose 50 pounds in 30 days. Now that's pretty unrealistic, although there are some people who have done that. That's not the norm. Okay, on average, health authorities say one to two pounds a week is is actually sustainable and that's healthy weight loss and so a good goal would be if you were looking to lose weight maybe eight to ten pounds in 30 days it's good if you lose more great if not then it, it if you lose more then great but if you hit that eight to ten pounds then great you know you you've, you've done it right so then number uh the next one is going to be avoid procrastinating you definitely do not want to procrastinate. Likely, if you're watching this video, you are inspired and you are ready to go. You've made a decision that you want to be healthy. You want to live a healthier lifestyle. So the time to strike is now. So do not procrastinate. Act now. And lastly, is not to beat yourself up. Not to beat yourself up and to be, don't be so tough on yourself. If for whatever reason you're, you're starting off and then you hit a bump in the road, you just keep going. You just get up and you just keep going. So those are the points that I have for you guys. That's all I have for you guys. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Please like this video if you felt that it helped you in some way. Please comment in the comment section. Let me know what goals you've set for yourself this year. If you have any questions that you'd like to address to me, please let me know those too. And I'll answer them the best way that I can and subscribe hit that notification bell so that you can get future videos from me and you can know exactly when they come out